Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in Marty, Iowa. Check it out, we are in the vintage motorcycle shop where all the magic happens. Motorcycles come in here with flat tires and leaky valve covers and you know, motors that won't spark and carburetors that are stiff and cables that won't run. And when they leave here, they're all shiny and proud and they make roaring noises and do all kinds of fun stuff. So come in sad, leave glad. <laughs> what have they got in here today? Uh, well, this is a 1947, I think. Triumph 500. I think it's a 500. It's a parallel twin. Just a gorgeous thing. Four-speed transmission. I actually rode this in one of the videos I think we did a while back. That might be the oldest bike I've ever ridden. I believe it's a 47. Isn't that just a beautiful thing? Rigid back frame. Look at the air pump right there. Nice seat. Look at this here. Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Smith's gauge. Chronometric. Look at that. That is fabulous. A little badging right there. Amp meter, oil pressure gauge right there. Probably the lights. This is you remove this, pull it out, and it's like a work light. So you can have light when you work. Knee pads, chrome tank, little blue lines on the tank there, a little blue on the uh, wheels. It's got a telescopic fork already. Isn't that neat? Of course, the brake. Probably the kill switch, throttle, of course. Uh, looking for the choke. Maybe it's on the carburetors. High lows, horn, clutch, of course. Isn't that just a beautiful thing? Single carb, magneto engine. Hey, chrome oil tank, too. Just a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Look at that intake. <laughs> oh, my. Air was clean back in those days. Uh, jumping up here, this is a 54, I think, BSA. This is getting a whole new top end and a valve job and uh, all that neat stuff. Again, four-speed transmission, separate, pre-unit, you know, oil tank, dry sump engine. This is a Golden Flash 650 BSA. Look at those pipes. Just gorgeous. I love the old mechanical brakes. Like I said, they put in new uh, top end, new cylinders, new pistons. Here's a magneto. Uh, jumping over here, here's the head. Look at this. This is actually, the manifold is actually cast into the head. So that's uh, so intake side here, exhaust side over yonder, all little bits and pieces. Here, in, you know, the, the valve cover, rocker arms are in there. The cams down here somewhere. Just a gorgeous machine, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Telescopic forks again. Monoblock carburetor. I think that belongs up here somewhere. Lovely, lovely. I can't see up there to tell you much about it, but it does have a kind of a nacelle. Uh, running over here. This is a 1957 bullet. I've actually rode this bike a couple times. A good friend of ours, ever he owned, used to own this. He traded in for another wonderful machine. So you can, this thing is going to be in tip-top shape because everything ever it has is in tip-top shape. By golly, looks like a a mile Amol carburetor. You know, single cylinder 500, right there, 57 bullet. Beautiful machine, four speed, probably one down, one up, three down. Got the neutral finder, swing arm bike, of course, telescopic forks, gorgeous thing. Is that a magneto, I guess? Yeah, yep, primitive kind of a rectifier of some sort. I just love this thing, absolutely beautiful thing. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous machine. Check it out, chronometric Smith gauge. Am gauge over here. Just fabulous, fabulous thing, fabulous thing. Uh, this is a 1974, 1974 Trophy Trail. There you are, working on this right now. It's got a 21 inch front tire, 500 cc engine, parallel twin. Absolutely nifty bike. Kickstart only, of course. Until it's a 500 because of the closeness between the shifter and the kicker right here. The lack of a cone on the motor with a unit engine and then the heads are shaped differently just a gorgeous thing single carb concentric look at that chrome tank beautiful beautiful hey that's the exhaust pipe right yes it is i've never seen one quite like that notice the adjuster for the uh chain is up here on these I'm not sure why that is. We'll take a look at that on the other side. I love that hub, by the way. Isn't that just a beautiful hub, the Cohen hub? Speedo drive right there. Check that out. Again, here's the uh, 
for the chain adjuster, you you move this in order to move the uh, tighten the chain up and back, move the back end, move this the whole moves the whole swing arm forward and backwards. Brake pedal. I like it. They're doing work on it, so that's why this is all like this. Look at that hub on the front. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is where all the magic happens. Like I said, they come in here sad and leaky and you know grumpy and missing, and they leave here shiny and loud and proud and just uh, amazing. Amazing place. Beautiful place to be. Hey, if you are in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike like any one of these, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Those guys can help you out. Make sure you tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, if it's a beautiful day out where you're at, it's not here. It's about 20 some odd degrees. Get yourselves out and ride. Wahoo!